So frontotemporal dementia is a common form of dementia that affects people sort of younger than the normal forms of dementia, like such as Alzheimer's disease. So the average age of our patients is around the sort of mid fifties, and it causes people to have changes in personality and behaviour as opposed to uh, having deficits in memory. So around 40% of patients with frontotemporal dementia have a family history of disease. So that tells you that genetics plays a very large role in the development of that condition. So my lab tries to understand the genetic basis of frontotemporal dementia. That is, we try to find genes which, when uh, mutated, i.e. they have a change in them, uh, so if you, if you have a particular gene change, then that causes someone to develop frontotemporal dementia in their mid-50s. And once we've found those gene changes, what we try to do is then to uh, investigate and understand the biology that's being uh, uh, sort of affected by that particular genetic change. I feel the work that Alzheimer's Research UK funds is and will continue to make a difference for patients and families that suffer from dementia. And, you know, um, much of the research in the UK couldn't happen if it wasn't for these incredible donations that people make to the charity.